Hello everyone, welcome to a sequel to the video previously, which is uh, six monoprints. Now I picked out this one, which I'm not very happy with, or I feel that it's not finished yet. Um, so I'm going to add some black tissue paper. going to cut them into strips and this is to create some kind of scaffolding or structure And I am going to repeat a recurring theme in my work, which is the circular shape. So these are graphic elements. Okay, so I will proceed to mount this with my Mod Podge. I like using these uh, plastic tubs because they fit the brush nicely. So I will start with the circular shape.
So by adding these elements, it gives the composition some kind of structure. Okay, so I will air dry this and my intention is to superimpose another layer of color on top, essentially making this a kind of a sheen collé where you have a thin layer of tissue and collage on the bottom or an underlayer and then print on top of it. And the underlayer reacts with what's superimposed on top. So you will see this uh, later in this video. So I will go ahead and air dry this and move on to the next piece. Again, I find that this needs a little bit of structure. So I will introduce some elements in it.
okay again I will air dry this and then consider a layer on top of this maybe something semi-transparent or iridescent so I'll be back in a few minutes Okay, I'm back. I was able to arrange a combination of my new stencils and some old ones. And I'm going to use this Blick Gold. This is a Blick Studio Acrylic. And I will use some gold here in the middle. I think this is on its last leg because I use it so much. I'm going to see if I can squeeze it out. And then some of this unbleached titanium. For, for the top. No, I think it's clogged. For some reason, the uh, colors that are mixed with white, they dry very quickly. Okay. So hopefully this will work. I'm just trying to get the uh, high spots just to make sure that they are completely flat. Okay. So what I'm hoping is this layer of light titanium is going to contrast with the black, the black uh, collage that I had just laid down. Okay, I think I have them all. So this is the first print 
with the black collage, black tissue paper, and I will superimpose this. Hopefully I will get a more interesting image. Okay, this is really going to be a surprise because I did not use any cheat sheet. I'm not sure exactly where the layers will overlap, but that's where all the excitement is. totally transforms the original. Check this out. How cool is that? So uh, the light colors interact with the black collage create some kind of movement and tension. And I think that's what makes the print more interesting to look at. Okay, I will air dry this and then think about what to do with the next one. I decided I'm not going to use this. I'm going to use a different configuration for the next one. So I will just clean this off. Okay, this is the setup for the second print. Again, it's a mixture of the new shapes and some old ones. And I'm going to use metallic pearl and uh, I think I will just use one color and I will just spread this very thinly across the entire plate.
Now this time I am trying a different technique with my brayer. I'm really pushing hard. I'm trying to take advantage of the springy surface of the gel plate. So I'm trying to spread the paint as thinly as I can. Not so much evenly because I think the unevenness is interesting. It's an extra bonus uh, in creating texture. Okay. I'm glad I have all these plastic trays. They come in handy to hold these uh, stencils. Okay, I'm just making sure my fingers are clean before I grab that paper. So here is the second piece to refresh your memory. Okay. Now it, it has uh, some areas that I find too dark. So hopefully this metallic pearl is going to lift things up and give it some depth. Okay, let's see what we got here. Very cool. It pushes the it pushes the other colors into the background, which I like. So now it has some depth. Okay, I'm glad I was able to uh, remedy the uh, pieces that I was not too crazy about. Um, I like them now because they have more layers. So 
I will recap once these are dry, so don't go away. Okay, everyone, here's my favorite part of this video where I get to show you the finished product and show you the close-ups. So this is the first print. And if you can remember, on the outset, it was just a column of turquoise and a column of copper. And I didn't find it very interesting and I added the black elements and then put a layer of parchment and gold on top of it. So I think that kind of pulls everything together and gives it some movement. So here is a close up. And I do like the way the elements interact with each other. I like the way the uh, black elements give it some structure. And you have this sense of foreground and background. I also like the uh, metallic gold, just gives it a little shine. Okay, so that is the first print. This is print number two. Again, I like the way the black elements here give it some definition. And the iridescent white gives it some, some uh, depth. It brings, it brings the uh, elements to the foreground and the background. So you have two things fighting each other and creating some kind of movement. It's like looking through some kind of a veil or a mesh or looking through a window pane. Let me see if I can put these two together. Yeah, sorry for the small table, but, um, so you see the relationship between the two. It's the same technique of applying collage and then applying a lighter color to create depth. So I hope you like this adventure. I had a lot of fun doing these prints. I hope you had fun watching. And thank you so much for subscribing. And uh, for those who can, please uh, lend your support to my PayPal to keep this channel going. And please check out my new website, artwhisperer88.com. I hope to see you next time.